A lot of people know the technique, but not too many people understand the style. Let's take your pretzels from good to great today at the Knowledge Drop. Focus, focus. Heyo, knowledge drop time by bbodojo.com and Cypher Studio Helsinki, Finland. My name is Focus of the Flow Mo Crew. Let's build on pretzels today. It's a style that I love dearly. I've used it in tons of battles and it has opened up so many doors for me. The technique itself has many names all around the world. Majority of the people know it as pretzels, but if you break down the basic technique to small pieces, it can be seen and regarded as a basic knee sweep. A sweep with a knee in the ground. The knee sweeps themselves, they were done already ages ago, already in the earlier days of the dance in New York. You can even see them in New York City Breakers, President Reagan's inauguration gala in 1985. But the process of turning the knee sweep into a pretzel, the structure, the format and the idea, the concept can be traced back to the early 90s and Germany. The dark years of breaking when not too many people were active, just the most stubborn and the hungry ones stick to it throughout the years. I asked Storm for the story and he broke it down like this. In the early 90s, Storm, Speedy, Swift Truck and Noel, they were practicing at Noel's house in Germany. Swift Truck was working on a set in which one of his foot was glued to the ground. Not literally, of course, but he wanted to do the whole round without moving one of his foots. He shared the concept with everybody else in the room and they started playing around with it. And not limited to footwork, hands, knees, head and so on and so on. And with that structure and idea, they started making out small combos. Storm loved the sweep part. He wanted to have it somewhere in there. As a matter of fact, he loved it so much that he wanted to do it both ways. So he always started the same way, stopped after the sweep, and then continued the other direction. And that turned into a drill that would take four counts per side. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. And that mind-blowing new combo opened up so many new doors that he kept working with it. And he made up a bunch of new patterns. Speedy chipped in and he made one too. The name for it came up later. After they had met up with Quickstep in 1991 in New York, Quicks told them about the story of the donut. The famous side glide. And if you had trained hard enough, your beanie was all sweaty already and that would draw a big donut shape in the floor. After working for so hard and so long with the pretzels, their sneakers had left all these marks on the ground of the practice spot. And it was obvious. To keep up with the tradition of the pastry names, this structure would have to be known as the pretzel. So once you know the basic technique, let's polish it up. Number one, start using your upper body. Battle Squad did all the scoffing on the floor so that you wouldn't have to. And this happens by using your upper body more. Footwork is not only about the feet, so your upper body and actually your full body has to be active and in work. So once your weight is on top of your knee, then lift your upper body higher. This opens up so much more space for the move and makes the move more complete. You don't have to be flexible anymore to do the move at all. You can be stiff like me and still have an ill flow. So instead of this, <laughs> lift your upper body higher while you're on the knee. Lift up, so you'll be nice and smooth. And secondly, slowing down. Let's keep working on the scoffing again. A perfect pretzel does not drag the feet on the floor at any point. Let's try this. Try slowing down your pretzels to the max. Can you do your weight transfers between your hands and your feet without scoffing your feet in the ground, even if you do it slow? The main tip is that you need to be able to shift your weight between your arm and your leg right at the correct moment. Otherwise you will kick yourself in the knee or scuff your sneakers in the ground. Make your sneakers all dirty, especially if you rock on concrete. So give it a try. Being able to do this move slow first makes it more controlled to do it fast. And lastly, third option, come back to the basics. Forget about footwork, forget about the structure, forget about the counts, forget about the step and the pattern. Let's return back to the original concept and the idea. Can you do a solo with one foot? 
nail to the ground. Ba, pa, pa, pa. Once you limit yourself, more possibilities open up. How many new moves can you come up with the new approach? So rock around with one foot nailed to the ground and post it with the hashtag BboyDojo. I would love to see some of your creation. And that, my friends, is how you take your pretzels from good to great. Join my free workshop at bboydojo.com. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace.